Hey guys, this is Veron from Speaker of the Stars and welcome back to my channel. So today we are doing sort of a standalone piece. This was supposed to be my New Year video um, if I had one, but I actually like it as a standalone, so we're doing it like this. So I didn't post last week because um, I was mostly tired and quite a bit lazy. So I did do this somewhere Tuesday I think ish I think no actually did this on Saturday but the video editing took longer than I expected because I keep on going over the clips trying to trim as much clips as much as possible and it took me a week <laughs> if you notice my voice is a bit softer and lower and huskier than normal that is because I have a sore throat I hope it just stays at a sore throat and won't go anywhere beyond that. I can try to raise my voice to the normal level, but there are a lot of um, tones I can't hit against my normal voice. So yeah, I'm sick again. I think if you watched my Flores series for December, I mentioned I got the mumps. Um, now I have a sore throat. I went to work for one week and then got sick again. Amazing. <laughs> um, anyway, what are you gonna talk about in this video? Oh yeah, I said I wanted to talk about my New Year's res resolution. I have one, but it's not very... Mm, I don't know, it, it's very chill. It doesn't put too much pressure on me to, to do things. Which I like because I sort of know my limits by now. Um, and it still sort of bounces off a little bit of what I wanted to do in the years before that. So, let's go through it. If you have enough time, I'll talk about the process in the video. So, I wanted to... Or should I do that the other way around? Should I talk about the process first and then talk about the video? Or the, the resolution. Alright, let's let's do the video first actually. Whew, mid mid voice recording topic change. Anyway, we as I said, this was supposed to be my New Year video. Um I wanted to go with lights and floating lights for some reason. That was the only concept I had in my head. So I just started sketching out poses. I don't know if I kept the clip in with my body con um figurine but he had i had him help me out a little bit to figure out the pose uh yeah i decided to go with a point one liner from uh sakura sakura fine liners um this is what i wanted a more lighter look and then i'm going with the usual sakura koi watercolors and the pima confections uh, complexions palette and I actually sort of yellowed the colors for this uh, the only image I had in my head was the lights and a darker background and the image of the character actually only started to form properly when I started doing the thumbnails which is what thumbnails are for but the colors as usual I did up during my lesson from last year I sort of yellowed it I knew I wanted a dark green tealish color somewhere in there but that's the only thing I knew I wanted and I started like picking colors based off of what would look good with the cloak so that's how the process just ended up being so right now what I'm trying to do uh, especially for my art is to lessen my reliance on line art so for things like folds and um, creases and maybe even hair eventually, I want to lessen how much lines I use so that the medium, whether it's colored pencil or markers or watercolor, can define the shapes by itself. Um, on the other hand, I also sort of want to do really intense line art, but maybe I have to do it one at a time. We'll see where 2019 takes me. Is there anything else I can note about this 
Well, I'll talk about it later. Maybe in the, in the team when I start doing the background. But that isn't until later. So let's talk about New Year's resolutions. I am super late. Um, and they're not particularly binding, I guess. They're just like stuff that I want to achieve as I go along the year. So yeah. So my first goal is to do more sketching videos. As you have noticed lately, I have been trying to add the sketching or the filmmaking process in my videos. That's why my videos now um, reach until 15 plus plus minutes and not the usual 10. It's because I've been wanting to include the process of the filmmaking. I explained this, I think, in... I think it's in the video right, after, right before this one that I learned how to do thumbnailing when I took art classes in college and it was taught to me by my sketching, drawing, painting prof and I felt like it was a really valuable tool. I might, no, I will make a video on thumbnailing eventually, maybe when I have a better voice since I don't think I can talk for long periods like this. Um, but because it's a really important part of the process, I felt that I wanted to include it a lot more, even at just at the start of the video. Maybe as I say, as I say in my intro, it will be there, so that you see somehow how I get to this final piece. Okay, the second part, second point is I want to tweak my channel branding. I'm not super set on this, but I think I might change the logo up a little bit. Uh, I made that logo last year, I think, around March, I think. Um, I look, I look at it now. I feel like it's a bit too intricate. Um, the the main point with branding, a really important point that I forgot when I was making my own branding, is that even from a distance, it still should look recognizable and um, not just a blur. Or if it's if it's scaled down, it should it should still be recognizable. I think with the amount of details in my logo, um, I might need to tweak this. I also think that I want to change up the colors that I use a little bit, but this will be something I'll be doing very very slowly. Um, branding takes a long time and it takes a lot of proce uh, iteration processes. I sort of rushed it last year, so I didn't really, you know get the best result and i'm getting better as a designer so maybe um i like the logo that i come up with this time okay the third point was i want to live stream more i've been saying this over and over and over and again in my videos that i do want to live stream a lot but my laziness and my cramming um tendencies just got the better of me so Let's hope. <laughs> Let's hope I do that. My fourth point is that I want to retake up calligraphy. I have been doing that a little bit with the Flora series, though that's done now. Um, I might watch more videos and buy more books on different styles of calligraphy. Uh, it's just sort of something that I want to, you know, it's one of those things that I just want to pass by um, through the year. Where am I? That's one, two, three, four. Okay, fifth point is to practice backgrounds and perspective. Whew. <laughs> um, I admitted a lot in my other videos, if you've been, me, been with me for a while, that I am not particularly good with the backgrounds, and I'm not particularly good with perspective. I want to practice both, and maybe I would make videos dedicated to just practicing on that while not claiming to be an expert on it, so you might see me try to practice. Um, another, the sixth point is try to sketch every day. I've already failed for that, but I am sketching a lot more often than when I did in college. Um, this being college where it wasn't a requirement to sketch every day, but I've been doing it a lot more. I'm starting to go back into the level of when I, the amount of times I drew in high school. I'm starting to approach that amount of output again, but it's more focused on sketching than finished pieces. 
So let's hope I keep it up. <laughs> and my very last point was exercise again. Of course, health is wealth. Uh, I noticed I've started to get pretty strong just by walking to work. Um, when I was going to work for the past week, I started walking to the gate of my subdivision um, just to improve my stamina. I'll eventually take up um, dancing in my living room again. Uh, you know, it's just those like follow me on YouTube type of stuff. And yeah. So let's see how much, how well I did last year. So for last year, I want to exercise, which I did. I just stopped it. I wanted to take more work from freelancing sites, which I didn't do. Because I realized I didn't really want to work some more when I got home or in my, in, in my downtime. I, as I said, I'm, I like design, I enjoy design, but I don't eat, breathe, and sleep design. So yeah, I'm sort of half ass as a designer, I, I would say. My art goes for the live stream every Sunday, which <laughs> did not happen. I wanted to upload videos every Saturday, which, as you know, I did and did not do at the same time. I say, I'd say I had a 50% success rate. I wanted to do more acrylics and oils, which I did not do at all. I'm sorry, myself. I wanted to draw more. I, um, <laughs> if you saw my post on Instagram and Twitter, I, I posted an art summary, and there I stated I had 10 more traditional drawings than 2017 but I had zero more digital drawings than the previous year so yeah I did draw more just not what I thought I'd be doing I wanted to explore more color palettes fluoresces forced me to do this to some extent even though I did default to some color palettes um, I've expanded my tastes. I wanted to do more backgrounds, which again, fluoresces did actually help me a lot with that. Um, I wanted to sketch more often, which is the same as what I said this year. And I wanted to do more realism. Um, I sort of did this with my sketching. Because when I sketch, I usually don't record, so I don't really post those either. But I didn't really do a lot either, so I'd say 10% success rate. And I wanted to do a new banding design, which is what I did. And I wanted to do design exercises, which I did not do. Yay. <laughs> but yeah, those are my resolutions. Just actually right in time for the background. So as you can see, I put some lines to create some distinction between the character uh, his clothes and the background since they are all using the same colors Right now. I'm adding in some Purple I think or it could be blue. No, I'm adding in some purple to create a bit more contrast and More depth in the shadows and I felt like the, the purple would add in some nice touch of color into it and not make it look super monotone um Hmm what else? Yeah, I think, I think I'm gonna do pretty well. Let's hope as I complete maybe at least half of my 2019 goals. Uh, and a lot of them are stuff that I've been wanting to do. And I've been wanting to be a bit more proactive this year. Um, I realized I had to hold myself back a lot. Just, you know, like planning, planning, planning. And then got scared and not really pushed through with my plans. So this year I am trying to force myself to just like dive into it and see what happens. And then from there, make some plans and then like be as flexible as possible. Like I said, I'm pretty flexible, but um, sometimes when there's a really big project, I tend to freeze up a little bit. Um, so a lot of these actually, I'll sort of run through them as I go throughout the year. Some would need a bit more dedication, so let's hope I get to do that. Right, so now for the actual video. So right now I am just adding in some uh, a heavier weight of line art to create some dimension to the piece and 
yeah, that's pretty much the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. We will be jumping into the previews soon. If you like this type of content, um, traditional digital art, um, mostly anime style, but I do move out of that sometimes, feel free to like this video or even subscribe if you're really interested. Um, yeah, follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and DeviantArt. I try to post as regularly as I can. I just missed last week. I'll try to do better and I'll see you around.